Adrian, and today I'm here to bring you a spoiler free speed review of The Tide Keeper by Mitch Alwyn. The Time Keeper is a spin on Father Time and it follows a man named Dor and Dor comes from the beginning of mankind and he is very obsessed with numbers and measuring and he's figured out that he can measure a specific time in a specific day so he is essentially the first person to measure time. A lot of things happen to Dor which I don't want to talk about to spoil the book for you but he ends up finding God and God punishes him for being the creator of time because man is forever obsessed with time. God punishes him by making him listen to man's obs growing obsession with time and he has to learn several lessons from this. I don't really want to give you much more information than that because the story does get spoilery really fast but I loved this book. Let's start off by talking about the plot. I will say I love the beginning of the book and the end of the book a lot more than the middle of the book. The characters that we meet in the middle of the book weren't very interesting to me but they were very necessary for the story and the lessons that Dora learned. Like I said before I don't want to talk to you about the plot too much because it does get spoiled really fast so let's quickly jump into the writing because I have a lot to say about the writing. I love the writing of this book especially the parts where we're learning about Dora and the things that he's gone through and the things that he's learning. I found it to be very deep very insightful and very thought provoking which is something that I love in a book. I love when books get me thinking about my own life, evaluating my own use of time or waste of time and how obsessed we are about time. I love this book so much that I actually went ahead and annotated it which I don't do very often but I wanted to read you a couple quotes that I found really inspirational that sort of speak to the writing style of this book. He assigned a stone for every full moon. He notched tables for the moons in between. He created the first calendar and now all of his days were numbered. As mankind became obsessed with the hours, the sorrow of lost time became a permanent hole in the human heart. There is a reason God limits our days. Why, he asked, to make each one precious. Everything man does today is to be efficient, to fill the hour. It does not satisfy, it only makes him hungry to do more. Man wants to own his existence, but no one owns time. I could say this a million times, but even though this writing style may have been a little bit on the simplistic side, it was so thought provoking. I could go on and on and on about this all day, but this is a speed review, so let's move on to the characters. I loved Dora's character, obviously. But the other characters in this book, the characters whose story we follow alongside Dora's, I wasn't a huge fan of. I found their stories, for me personally, to be unrelatable. I found that they were on the very extreme scales of what Dora needed to learn from these people in order to be able to figure out the lessons that God wanted him to learn. But unfortunately, because of that, I could only give this book a 3.75, maybe if I'm being generous, of four stars. Because they were a big chunk of the book that I just didn't like, mostly because I liked Dor more. That being said, even though it did get a lower rating than I would have liked to give it, this will be one of my favorite books of all time because it just impacted me and I won't be forgetting it anytime soon. I do recommend this book to you, even though it has mentions of God and it is not a particularly a religious book, so if you're not into that kind of thing, I still think you would really enjoy this one. That wraps up for the spoiler free speed review. I do recommend this book. I think that everybody should read it. It is fantastic. If you enjoy spoiler free speed reviews, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know down below if you've read this book and what you thought about it. If you have not yet, I'd love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!